Hi everyone, I'm ME4 Jia Sheng, OIC, Officer in Charge of Roto Transmission Flight from 816 Squadron. I primarily deal with Roto Transmission System for Chinook helicopters as well as overseeing some of the operation maintenance for life support equipment in Sabawang Air Base. So as part of 816 Squadron, we maintain the life support survival equipment. Some of the life support survival equipment LSS in short is Life Rough, Life Vest, and inside of this live rough and live vest, there is this subset which is the sabi radio. So this sabi radio function is to give off some distress frequency when there's emergency cases. And because of the original design of this sabi radio, there were occurrences of inevitable dislodge causing false alarm. This solution is simple. We added on an additional ring to the original design and it gives more flexibility and freedom of play to the land yard. And this actually allows the air crew to not worry about their movement during their operations. The team brainstormed and narrowed down to two possible solutions. Solution one is to change the metal ring to a softer material like rubble. Solution two is to add an additional ring which can improve its flexibility. So the ring and land nut is to allow the air crew to pull and hence triggering distress frequency in time of emergency. And with this consideration in mind, we didn't want to change the existing ring. Hence, we pursue with solution 2 which can solve the problem yet retaining its original purpose. Initially, when we raised this issue to original equipment manufacturer OEM in short, they did not provide us a concrete solution. But that did not stop us from being innovative, finding more ideas. Hence, we actually narrowed down to the two ideas, trial on them, and presented this solution to OEM. And in the end, they even thanked us and gave us a letter of appreciation. On top of that, we are proud to say that OEM has actually adopted our solution and implemented for the user worldwide. The man hours safe consists of tracing effort from multiple agencies up to our maintenance squadron as well as the flying squadron. And for each occurrence, it can save up to 20 man hours. This initiative has improved our work processes and prevent any unwanted inevitable activation of the radio beacon. And this has actually avoided some follow-up action required to locate the radio beacon and disarm it. I have two pointers for the audience watching this. First, there will always be w better ways to do things, so we just have to look for it. Second, never give up whenever you are faced with an obstacle. We can always look for alternative approach or solution to the problem. Linking back to this solution, it was a simple and effective idea which impact the users around the world. Back in your unit, definitely there will be some pain point, so be proactive, be bold, think of any ideas which may eventually be the solution to those problems. So go make a difference today. We have come to the end of this episode. I hope you enjoy and learn more about innovation project. I hope you are inspired to innovate in your own way. If you'd like to see more RSF content, please subscribe to our channel and I hope to see you again. Bye bye.